Hello, everyone. Today we are going to talk about Britain. Compared with other countries, you may be more familiar with the UK because of movies, dramas, books, and news you've come across. Big Ben, the London Eye, the Industrial Revolution, and English Premier League. You've likely heard of all of this before, but what about Britain's location and size, population, language, attractions, and its food and eating habits? Well, in this session, we are going to focus on these basic facts about Britain. Firstly, location and size. Britain is part of an island located off the western coast of Europe, comprising the main territory of the United Kingdom. Britain is the official name given to the Kingdom of England and the Principality of Wales. Sometimes people call the United Kingdom, which is actually made up of four parts: England, Scotland. Wales and Northern Ireland. Apart from its land border with Ireland, the United Kingdom is surrounded by seas. To the south of England and between the United Kingdom and France is the English Channel. The Lost Sea lies to the east. As for its size, the island is the largest in Europe and the eighth. Largest island in the world, with a total area of 243,610 kilometers. Secondly, its population. Britain is a home to over 66 million people, with a diverse and multi-ethnic population. People from all over the world have made this country their home. It ranks as the 22nd most populous country in the world. In terms of population distribution, almost one third of the population lives in the urban and suburban areas of England's southeast. London is the capital city of the UK, with a population over eight million. Its population density is 267 people per square kilometer. Compared with other European countries, the UK ranks as the seventh most densely populated country in Europe, above Germany, Liechtenstein, and Italy. White British is the predominant race in Britain. According to Office for National Statistics, the makeup of ethnic groups is 87.1 percent white, 7 percent Asian, 3 percent Black, 2 percent mixed, and 0.9 percent others. Thirdly, language. The main language spoken in Britain is English. Although several other languages are spoken too, over 250 languages are spoken in London, making the capital the most linguistically diverse city in the world. More than 10 percent of primary children and 9 percent of secondary pupils do not have English as their first language. The formal British way to greet someone is "Good morning," "Good afternoon," or "Good evening." Most people in Britain usually say "Hello" or "Hi" when they greet someone. Not everyone in Britain speaks with a plummy English accent. In Britain, every part of the country has its own way of speaking English. People in Yorkshire stand very different to people in London. Most people in Britain can guess where someone comes from by the way they speak. Let's look at a video clip to learn more about these accents. It's question time. 
It's comedy. Do you want a wee bag with that? It's hard to beat the Northern. This is so rude. At the Golden Globes, I met Jennifer Aniston. I love you. I'm the best MC in the country. In the no, they're not. They are. I bet you any money they are. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. They're quite important things. Force. Attractions. From great theme parks to the outstanding family attractions, there are a huge range of tourist attractions all over the Britain. In England, from double-decker buses to village pubs and cream tea, visitors will find that the weather isn't as grey and rainy as they had heard, and that there are a surprising amount of great tourist attractions. Nightstone Hinge, Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, and the London Eye. Scotland also has an incredible variety of places to visit, from historical castles to the whisky distilleries and wildlife farms to custom-built museums and galleries. Visitors come here tears of kings and queens in a royal palace in Edinburgh. A climb over 200 steps up the National Wallace Monument for views over a national park. Wales is a small country, which means you don't have to go far to find something new and interesting to discover. Castles, museums, world-famous beaches, and the beautiful capital city, Cardiff, are all perfect places to explore in the amazing country. More than just wild, scenic beauty, Northern Ireland has a rich cultural history. From its ancient ruins to the end of the troubles, visitors can discover the historical sites and the vivid culture of this beautiful part of the United Kingdom. Thieves, food and eating habits. British people have some traditional habits when it comes to food. A British breakfast really is a beautiful thing. Firstly, let's look at the main part of the British breakfast. The most common breakfast dish in the UK is a full English breakfast. The term full comes from the fact the breakfast is full of different foods. The heart of the full breakfast is bacon, eggs, and sausages. The dish is usually accompanied by grilled tomato, mushrooms, fried onions, toast, and marmalade. A cup of tea is a popular and traditional drink with breakfast, as is coffee. But believe it or not, the British don't typically eat a full Monty every day. Rather, it is usually enjoyed on weekends and holidays. Other most watering traditional meals from the UK include fish and chips, pie and marsh, and shepherd's pie, not to mention traditional British delicacies like the scotch egg and pork pie. Another food tradition in Britain is eating a classical roast on Sundays. And yet, another food tradition in Britain says that people must cook food on a BBQ as soon as they spot a gleam of sun through the clouds. Great Britain is also famous for its many traditional desserts, with it being tradition to enjoy dishes such as a classical apple crumble or sticky toffee pudding as end to a meal. All right, we have had a quick and thorough look at Britain from its location and size, population, tourist attractions, and eating habits in daily life. I hope you now have a better understanding about this country. See you next time.